Welcome to the NetSuite Journal Entries Upload Training. This training is part of the NetSuite implementation where we upload or migrate the data from one system to another. Typically, it's a QuickBooks into NetSuite or an Intact into NetSuite. And so we've made a lot of mistakes. We want you to avoid the mistakes and learn from what we've done wrong. So we're going to share with you the data migration process, the list that we're uploading, and specifically show you the journal entries upload process in NetSuite. The data migration process has five steps. Identify the data to be migrated, prepare the CSV file, upload data in NetSuite, resolve the issues, and validate the data. And you'll repeat this process over and over until all the data has been correctly uploaded. And our hope is that we share these mistakes with you and what we've learned in the sequence so that you can avoid the mistakes we've made. So here are five types of data. There's the chart of accounts, the list, types of data are a list that has to be uploaded first. The chart of accounts is always first because it's the foundation to any ERP system, followed by employees list, customers list, vendors list, if you upload customers before vendors or vendors before customers, it doesn't make a difference. And then lastly, we have fixed assets. And fixed assets is unique enough that we had a separate training session on that. So once you have the skeleton, you then upload the transactions and the activities. And those are like journal entries, which we'll go into, or AR transactions or AP transactions. These are the details that go down one level, that click one level down than what you would see at a summary level. And so the journal entries, journal entries require an external ID. So an external ID is basically the journal entry number that you're giving it. Internal IDs are the sequencing that NetSuite has automatically so that it keeps track of its own transactions. As the external user, when you're uploading your journal entries, if you use a convention like May 2016 uh, JE1 is always a standard number, that's what your external ID is. And so you always have that so you can remember to go back to it. Number two is journal entries have to balance between debits and credits. And that sounds very simple until you realize that a lot of times when you export data from one ERP system into Excel and are ready to upload it into NetSuite, sometimes the numbers go out more than two decimal points. An example is if you have inventory pricing and your item is $1 and 10 cents. If you look at the journal entry and it's rounded, it'll say 1.10. But maybe what it really is is 1.1023. Those extra two, three, the digits after the decimal point, they make a difference because in the system it's so exact that if you get those two out of balance just by the hundredth or thousandth of a decimal point, it still will hold you up. And we've spent a lot of time troubleshooting and finding that one cell that doesn't match up. So your debits have to equal your credits. And number three is if you're uploading your journal entries with multiple subsidiaries, the journal entries for each subsidiary have to be grouped together. So if you have US as a parent, UK as a subsidiary, and Asia as another subsidiary, for example, all the journal entries for UK should be grouped together to be uploaded. All the journal entries for Asia should be grouped together. All the journal entries for the parent have to be grouped together. Because if you don't do that right, it's going to get rejected. So here's an example of a journal entry upload file from Excel. And we're just showing you just a small snippet of what is, is out there. So your external ID is your journal entry example number one. And that's where you're, you're checking, you have your debit and your credit. And in your memo, you'll have journal entry one or journal entry two. You have the right debits and credits. You will probably, you will have to specify the subsidiary and you may have departments and you may have classes. So that's just an example. We're gonna show you next in NetSuite how this upload process happens.
Now for the journal entry detail upload. Go to Setup, Import Export, Import CSV Records, Import Type Transactions, Record Type Journal Entry, Choose the file that you want to upload. Click Next. Choose Add. Click Next. Everything should be mapped. Click the pencil icon for Subsidiary and choose Internal ID under Reference Type. Click Next. Choose the map name, or choose a name for your file. Click Save and Run. When you've successfully uploaded, you will get the green confirmation box. Click on the Import Job Status. And you now see two records imported successfully. You're done.